You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Attention, this is not a test. Do not adjust your computer. This is an ETN bullshit alert. All right, so very, very exciting that we are getting The Mandalorian at the end of October. I can't wait. I loved season one. We will be following and reviewing The Mandalorian on this channel, uh, season two, that is. Gina Carano is a lovely woman. She's gorgeous. She can probably kick my ass. And I have to say, I, you know, I've been watching her, not every movie, but I've been watching her ever since she got into acting. And she has gotten so much better that I feel that what she's been doing in The Mandalorian is a big improvement over what she's done in the past. She very slowly got good. Little by little, she got better and better. So Gina Carano uh, made a tweet, and I'm going to read it here. It says, open up your businesses and churches. Put whatever regulations you want to because that is your right, but open them up. You're telling me COVID-19 knows the difference between a protest or a praise and worship? I haven't even been to church in over a decade, but I'm, I sure would go now. And she's right. She's right. When, um, when we had protests starting, everybody was fine with it. Nobody was worried about COVID. But obviously people were still criticizing anybody who tries to go to church. She got a lot of back backlash, a lot, I mean, a lot of heat. This is like the second time they've tried canceling her. So somebody was telling her how she was oppressed or, or how she's being oppressing, whatever, whatever. So she responded by saying, how is oppressing others a good way to take a stand against oppression? Unless this year's chaos is not solely about oppression, and it obviously is not solely about a pandemic, or we'd all be dead. 2020 is an election year. America, take back your freedom. Protect the free world. And she's getting hammered home for this. Again, we have a culture now where... Uh, and again, this is somebody that's just trying to encourage people to go out back out there. You know, open things back up, but do it safely, right? Regulations, social distance. Look, I was talking about AEW wrestling earlier, right? They had people in the audience, there were people. There were actually fans at the show. They were socially distanced. They were wearing masks. There's no reason why you can't have a service where you socially distance people and you have masks on. There's no reason why certain businesses or certain, uh, I mean, the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins are going to open the season with fans in the stands, socially distanced, masked. I think it was a very, very reasonable tweet. Nothing offensive about it. Nothing controversial about it. And she gets destroyed. Why? Because we have a culture now that either obsesses or looks to destroy celebrities. But it depends what kind of celebrity you are. If you're a celebrity that puts a black box up and says BLM, if you're a celebrity that, that cowtails to everything that the left or these crazy lunatics want, they will worship you. Brie Larson is a prime example of this. Brie Larson has said all the right things in Hollywood. If you go to Brie Larson's uh, Twitter page, it is flooded with fans trying to suckle at the teat of Brie Larson just to get any kind of reaction from her. However, if you're someone like Gina Carano, who's just speaking honestly and openly about your opinion and how you want people to go out there and support their churches and their businesses, you are destroyed on Twitter. And not just Twitter, but also in articles. Here's one today from Bleeding Cool. And this is not the only one. This is not limited to Bleeding Cool News. Bleeding Cool News. Now, this goes back. I'm going to switch up here real quick. This goes back to my earlier point. You got entertainment and you got politics invading entertainment. When you go to Bleeding Cool News, you don't go to Bleeding Cool News to, to, to see what they have to say about Gina Carano and her opinions. You go there to find... The latest news on movies, maybe a TV show, and specifically with Bleeding Cool, maybe a horror movie coming out, things like that. But no. Here's what Ray Fluck, and we'll read a little bit of this because it gets to, uh, it, it gets pretty ridiculous. With all due respect to the Mandalorian series creator, director, and 
EP John Favreau, the Disney live action Star Wars spinoff series was having a little too easy heading into the second season. On October 30th, we're almost, well, almost. We're not sure how the mouse's black helicopters allowed this to happen, but apparently series star Gina Carano, aka Cara Dune, has had all she can stand and can't stand no more. When it comes to when it comes to the health and safety restrictions regarding the COVID pandemic, that's right, you guessed it, Carano sees policies that restrict large gatherings and situations where people will pretty much be up in each other's faces. That's a fucking lie right out the gate. That's a lie right out the gate. Right out the gate. It's a bullshit because she was talking about social distancing and she was talking about people wearing masks and putting in certain regulations to do this the right way. So full of crap right there. Bullshit. Bullshit. So we move on. Where to begin? Aside from the fact that Carano is another prime example of how being really good at one or two things doesn't mean you know jack shit about anything else. Well, there's the, I mean, cat and kettle right there. How am I supposed to, uh, am I supposed to believe that Rafe look knows more or anything more or less about COVID than Gina Carano? Insane. I know about as much, and he even says it right here. I know about as much about the actual Medicare medical science behind COVID as someone who spends their working days in front of a high tech green screen. This means neither of us know more than what we look up online, though the sites I visit for facts usually aren't also plugging a book or how avocado pits are saying the alphabet backward and can, I mean, this is junk writing. In essence, he even admits that he doesn't know any more about it than maybe she does. But one thing that he failed to mention is that she did mention about reopening things with regulation in hand. And when she says regulation, she means doing the right thing in terms of, you know, if you open a church, maybe allow a couple of people in, you know, per service, make sure they wear masks, things like that. There was nothing wrong with what Gina Carano said. And I find it absolutely insane that these entertainment websites, because it wasn't just bleeding cool. I find it insane that they decide to come out here and write this article, this one, for example, about something that shouldn't even be controversial. But that's where we are now. That is your entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. That is your entertainment news websites that you like to go to source a new information regarding your favorite movies and TV shows. So I ask you, who are you really mad at if I'm going to come out here and talk about an uh, entertainment-related topic that's been... Uh, poisoned by political matter are you gonna get mad at me for bringing it up or are you gonna get mad at these stupid institutions that decide to force it down your throat i don't know let me know in the comments